we're going to have a look at the simple past tense. Right, so to let us start things, let's have a look at the simple past tense and what is it used for, right? The simple past tense is used to refer to an action or event that occurred at a specific time in the past, especially in the past and completed at the time of speaking. You need to understand these key words. It is used to refer to an action or it could be an event at a specific time in the past and it was completed at the time of speaking. We use the following adverbs or phrases of time to indicate the past. You can say a long time ago, at one time, earlier, in those days, just now, later, last night, once, yesterday. So these are the words or these are some of the words or adverbs or phrases that we use to talk about the past. Example, a long time ago before vehicles were made, humans travelled on animals, right? So here you can see a long time ago the phrase is being given and here the verb is travelled. Now if you take the past tense, the form of the verb is it's a D verb. So either ED or ED or just D, you add it or you double the last letter and add ED. Whatever the spelling rule is, it is the D at the end. Okay. So moving on, the second use of it. The simple past tense is used to refer to a completed action which happened over a period of time in the past. So it happened over and over and over again when in the past. Throughout my college years, I stayed in a hostel room with two other students. So in the past, during my university years or my college years, I stayed with my friends, two friends. Did it happen just once? No, it happened over and over and over again. Because it happened over a period of time and the action is now completed. Do I do that now? No, it's already completed. Because it was completed and it happened over a time period over and over again, we can use the simple present tense. So again you can see stayed. The simple past tense is used to refer to an action which happened regularly and repeatedly in the past but does not happen anymore, right? So this is also somewhat similar completed action over a period of time. Right? So when you say throughout my college years, you know that it is a period of time. In this one, also similar, but it happened regularly or repeatedly and it does not happen anymore. Right? So during the 1980s, it tells you a clear time frame. My mother walked to work daily with another colleague, right? So this repeatedly happened in the past, but 1980s, now is it 1980s? No, definitely no. So it does not happen anymore, right? So again, you can see ED. So that is the form of the verb, right? All right.
the simple past tense is used to report past events or situations and this is especially used in newspapers, magazines or journals. All right, so let us have a look at another use. The simple past tense is used to report past events or it could be even situations in magazines, journals, newspapers, right? Whatever the source is, you could use it to report. And what do you report about past events or situations, right? So you have the time always indication they are saying yesterday, right? Or two days ago in the past, long time ago, right? Yesterday, a fire broke out in a mini shopping complex. The fire spread quickly and in a matter of minutes, it destroyed all the shops. Now, not all verbs, you have to add the D. Remember I told you it will be a D form. Now, those are for regular verbs. For irregular verbs, we don't have that. Okay, so it will change like uh, break, broke, broken, right? So, broke is the past tense. So, some verbs, if they are irregular, we will not have the D or the ED form. So, this is most of the time used in storytelling or story writing also. Long time ago, there was a little girl named Goldilocks, you know, same structure, same context, right? Right, now before we come into this very quickly, I want to go back and give you a heads up as to when do we use the simple past tense. So that when you're doing the activity, you get it into your mind more. So here you use the past tense if you refer to an action that happened at a specific time in the past. How do you know it's a specific time? Because it tells you the time frame. Then you use the simple past tense. The second instance is you use it to refer to completed actions which happened over a period of time, right? So example, throughout my college years, I stayed because it happened over a period of time in the past. As you can see, throughout my college years. The next one, you use the past tense if it happened regularly or repeatedly in the past and it does not happen anymore. Example, in the 1980s, my mother walked to work. So, it happened repeatedly in the past, in the 1980s. But does it happen now? No, it does not happen anymore. You also use the simple past tense to report about past events or situations. It could be in magazines, journals, articles, newspapers, right? But whatever the scenario is, if you want to report it, then you use the simple past tense, right? Right, find out the same way why is B correct and why is A wrong? At one time, these war zones enjoy peace and stability. At one time, these war zones enjoyed. So, if it is the base form, enjoy is not a regular verb. It is a regular verb. Enjoy, enjoyed, enjoyed. Right? So, therefore, if it happened at a specific time in the past, should it be present tense? No, it should be simple past tense and that is why A is incorrect because enjoy is the base form of the verb and then that becomes present tense. Because enjoy is a regular verb and you need to add ed for the past tense, then this sentence becomes correct.
or right. So let us have a look at the next one. In my childhood days, I have dreamed of being a firefighter and doing courageous things. In my childhood days, I dreamt of being a firefighter and doing courageous things. Now here in the first one, I have dream, right? So you can't say that because it specifically says in my childhood days, which is the past. And here in my childhood days, I dreamt, okay? So dreamed, dream, dreamed, dreamt, both are correct. Usually dreamt is the more common one which is used in British English and that's why I have put it here, right? So because this is in the past and because it is a past tense of dream, there is no ed form here. Because it is the past form, then this is correct and this is wrong, right? Okay. The next one, this is wrong and this is correct. The mayor says that 20 years ago, this metropolis is only a quiet ordinary town. The mayor says that 20 years ago, this metropolis was only. Okay, so this is yes. So if you take it here, 20 years ago. Now, 20 years ago is the past. So, is, as I taught you, is in the present tense. So, if it was 20 years ago, you can't say is. Okay. So, because 20 years ago was the past, then here you have to use was. Okay. Because at the moment he's saying 20 years ago, this town was a quiet, ordinary town, right? Here it says is because it's in the present form, we cannot use it. But when you say was or were, it talks about the past. Was is with the singular. So she was, he was, it was. But if it is plural, they were, we were, right? So here it is the past form and therefore it is Correct. Circle the numbers of the sentences that are correct. Okay. So you have to get the ones which are correct. Let's have a look. Yesterday we stood at the train station for more than two hours waiting for the last train home. During the COVID-19 pandemic last year, many people lose their jobs. Jenna used to drink mango lassi when she was in school but now she hates it. When we were children we loved to stay by the river bank and watch the boats pass by. On Tuesday last week the grade 12 students began their final exams. The magistrate criticized the attorneys for wasting the court's time. We almost froze due to the ice cold winter weather. So here, have a look at the context, have a look at the form and see which ones are correct. If they are correct, try to see which one does it belong into under the rules that I taught you. If it is incorrect, why is it incorrect? Is it because of the form or is it because of the use of the tense? So as usual, pause the video here and have a look at the questions and jot down the answers. After you have finished, then you can start watching the video again and you can mark your answers. Right, so hope you have got the answers. Let us have a look at the answers. One, three, five, seven. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Yesterday, 
we stood at the train station for more than two hours waiting for the last train home. So yesterday we stood because stand stood. Past tense, it is an irregular verb. And because the time frame is given at a specific time in the past, we use the simple past tense. So one is correct. Jenna used to drink mango lassi when she was in school, but now she hates it. Jenna used to drink. Now used to is a form of the past tense. I used to smoke. Okay, it means that in the past I did it, but I don't do it anymore. Okay, I used to live in, um, let's say, Gaul. I used to live in Gaul. That means in the past I did live in Gaul, but now I don't live there. Okay, so again, used to, right? So three is correct. Now, if you have a look at the answers one and three, we've got. We're having a look at the next two. On Tuesday last week, began. Begin, began, begun. Okay, so begin, present tense, began, past, begun, past participle, right? So, because it was at a specific time in the past, when was it? Last week especially on Tuesday. So, because it was at a specific time in the past, then your verb has to be in the simple past tense, begin. So, then that is also correct. We almost froze. Again, past, freeze, froze, frozen. Okay. We almost froze due to the ice cold winter weather. So, happened in the past. Clear? So, 7 is also correct. Let me change the color. During the COVID-19 pandemic last year, many people lose. Can you say lose? No. Present tense? No. Because COVID last year. Okay, pandemic last year, specific time in the past, you have to use the simple past tense, lost. But because it is not there, that is wrong. When we were children, we loved to stay. When we were children, you're referring to something when you were young, in the past. Can you say we love? No, it should be we loved. So, because it is a regular verb and the D form is not there, it is wrong. And question number four is wrong. The magistrate, sorry, the magistrate, can you say criticize if it happened in the past? No, criticized. Okay, so again, wrong. So, have a look at the answers 1, 3, 5 and 7. All right. Underline the correct verb forms in the bracket. So, you have to choose which one is the correct verb form. During our college days, we frequently blank into trouble with our instructors. You have to choose, is it are getting or got? Now you know the use of the present continuous because we've already done it, right? Barry blank flaws with his work these days, though he has tried to do his best. So you have to choose, always finds, O is always finding. The girls blank their poses until the photograph was taken. Is it a holding or held? The dog guided or guides. The flock of sheep along the slope of the cliff until they get back to the farm. So you have to choose 
which one is correct. Think about the form, think about the context and think about the use of the tenses, right? So here you have the present continuous, why? Because am is a plus the verb plus ing. So always is a frequency adverb and then it comes in between the helping verb and the main verb, right? That is why you have always in the middle. Right, so mark the answers. You have more to it. Don't disturb him now. He blank his lines for the drama. So you can say is learning or learned. Which one is correct? Ben and I are often running. Or do you say often ran together when we were at school grounds? Harley used to play or used to play, two different things. Her clarinet late at night and annoyed the next door neighbors. Last summer camp activities keep or kept our students busy at night. So again, think about the form, the context and the use of these sentences. Also have a look at the understanding, right? When you read the sentence, you can understand is it now, was it in the past or is it near future, soon or is it going to be in the future, right? If you need more time, pause the video and complete the activity. Let us have a look at the answers. You have got, is always finding, held, guides, is learning, often ran, used to play, kept. Let us have a look at the answers one by one, right? During our college days. So, what is this during our college days? Let me show you what we learned in the first bit of the lesson. This is like throughout my college years. It was a completed action over a period of time. If that is the case, what happens to the verb? It should be in the simple past tense, right? So, we go. And let's have a look at the sentence again. During our college days, we frequently are getting or got then. We got into trouble with our instructors. Clear? Now, if we have a look at the answer, it is also got. Next one. Barry flaws with his work. These days, when you say these days, is it at the moment happening? Yes. So, could it be in the past then? No. So, then which tense are we using? Present continuous. Why? Because this is happening at the time of speaking and it tends to be a temporary one. Okay. So, Barry is always finding flaws. Currently happening at the time of speaking, right? So let's have a look at the answer. Is always finding. The girls, their poses until the photograph was taken. So was taken past. So what were they then doing? In the past, for some time, repeatedly they were doing it what? The girls held like this. Okay, so either they held it like this or they were held like this. A pose, whatever the pose that they were in, right? So the girls held their poses because it was taken and it was in the past then. So let's have a look at the answer. It is held. The next one. 
the dog the flock of sheep along the slope of the cliff until they get back to the farm so what does the dog do continuously what does it do as a routine as a habit normally what does it do the dog guides okay because it doesn't indicate a time to show that it was in the past nor do the any of the other verbs right because get is also present so therefore the dog guides let's have a look at the answer it's guides next one don't disturb him now now means present so can it be the past no it can't be so he is learning it's happening now at the time of speaking so the answer is is learning next one ben and i together when we were at we were at school ground so talking about something in the past so can you say running no because are running means present continuous if something happened in the past can you use that tense no if it happened in the past and you know it which tense it should be in the simple past tense ran is the verb remember often is a frequency adverb right so often ran the next one oops sorry it should go to the previous one harley the her clarinet late at night and annoyed right so can you say harley used to play or used to play because it says annoyed it has happened so harley used to play her clarinet so when she played it at the night she used to do it and it annoyed her neighbors used to play clear the next one last summer specific time in the past so therefore definitely the verb should be simple past tense and therefore it is kept right let us have a look at the answers got is always finding held guides is learning often ran used to play and kept just double check and see if your answers are correct all right the next activity fill in the blanks with simple present or past tense form of the verbs in the box right so it can either be simple present or it can be simple past be fascinate fight hire intend give occupy swing take work so those are the words right so some of it remember are irregular verbs like fight you don't say fighted you say fight fought give gave right so let's have a look and think about the context and should it be simple present or should it be in the past tense form when i was a toddler the lights of the theme parks and excitement of the roller coasters blank me the doors blank open unexpectedly and three men with guns ran into the hall throughout the french revolution the people blank for impartiality justice and freedom once this city of skyscrapers blank a tranquil forest full of wild animals and trees skyscrapers are tall buildings a nice word for you 
to use in your speaking as well when you talk about buildings. So think which word fits in and is it going to be the present or the simple past tense. When my uncle started his grocery years back, we blank him all the aid we could. We blank a van to drive from east coast to west coast. The words are here so you can look at it and do it while I'm reading it. BBC television now blank you to the international airport where VIPs expect the arrival of the King and Queen of United Kingdom. Cyril blank a lot of these days as he wants to be promoted to the post of junior manager. Now just bringing out here, you don't necessarily need to keep this K as a capital. It could be simple because it's a common noun, right? So you could read it as a simple K. So let us have a look at the last bit. Currently, my sister's great hobby in stitching blank her entire day. The central bank blank to increase the interest rates next year to lower the opportunities to obtain loans. So again, you have the words here. Pick and choose which ones should come. And should it be in the present tense or should it be in the simple past tense? Right, so I hope you have completed it. Let us have a look at the answers. Fascinated, swung, fought, was, gave, hired, takes, works, occupies and intensed. So let us have a look at the first answer. When I was a toddler, so when they tell you I was a toddler, it means, is it the present? No, very clearly if it's not the present, then you can't use the present tense verb, right? So if it was toddler, it is in the past. Now the thing is we have to choose the proper word also, right? Um, so when you see all the lights and things as a toddler, what happens? I think it should be fascinate. Right? But because it is in the past, it should be fascinated. Okay? Let me just write that D properly. So it should be fascinated. Let us have a look at the answers. There you go. Fascinated. The second one, the doors open unexpectedly. When it opens unexpectedly out of here, should be swing, no? But ran, okay? When you say ran, run, ran, it means past. So this happened in the past. So therefore, the doors swung. Open unexpectedly and three men uh, with guns ran into the hall. So this is an irregular verb. Third one. Throughout the French Revolution. Throughout means it's like it happened in the past, right? It's like throughout my university years. The same thing, okay? The people what? For impartiality, justice and freedom. So the people fought. Okay. Because fight is an irregular verb. So the past tense of fight is fought. So coming back to our answers, fought is there. Let's have a look at the fourth one. Once this city of skyscrapers blank. A tranquil forest. Okay. 
So what can we say? Higher, no, intent, no. Once the city of skyscrapers give, no. I think the B verb is what we can use. But because it's the B verb, it can be is, are, was, or were, right? Once means in the past, once upon a time. So skyscrapers, this city of skyscrapers was or were. What do you think? This city, one. So, this city of skyscrapers was. If it was cities, were, but a city of means it belongs to that. So, it's one city. Was a tranquil forest. So, was is there. Right? Now, do you understand why it's was and not skyscrapers were? Right? Let's have a look at the fifth one. When my uncle started his grocery years back, we, him, all the aid we could, we, I think it should be give, but when my uncle started. So is it at present? No. Was it in the past? Yes. So it has to be give. Right. The next one. Gave is there, right? Let's have a look at the next one. We, a van to drive. So if you want to drive from some place to another place in a van, right? What do you do? We hired. Right? Why don't you say we hire a van to drive from east coast to west coast? Because... It talks about the context means ah, we went from east to west. So we hired a van. We don't say we hired a van to drove. Okay. We hired a van to drive. Next one. So let's have a look. Hired, right? Next one, number seven. BBC television now. Okay. When you say now, what is it? At present. Okay. Because it happens now, at present, what can you tell? It take. But because it's television, singular, it takes you to the international airport. So coming and having a look at the answer, takes. Right. Let's have a look at number eight. These days, so Cyril blank a lot these days. Cyril, what? Works because he is singular and because it is in the present, it should be works. So let us have a look. Here, works, right? Number nine, currently my sister's great hobby in stitching. Does something for her entire day, right? Currently means at present. So therefore, it should be occupy. But because it is my sister, singular, S form, occupies her entire day. And then the last one. The central blank, blank, to increase the interest rates next year. Okay. So what is this? You plan it. Okay. Um, so the central bank intends. Because you don't say intending. Okay. It's a short verb. But obviously planned. So the central bank. Sorry. The central bank intend. So. Can you please have a look at your answers again? Fascinated, swung, fought, was, gave, hired, sorry, hired, takes, works, occupies, and intends. All right. So moving on, circle the correct words in the boxes to complete the sentences. So is it going to be prefer or preferred? Have hope or hoped? 
right? So you have to again think about the context and think, okay, the use of the tense, which one is more appropriate? Back in the days, women blank to play tennis rather than cricket. For weeks, the farmers blank that some compensation would be given for the loss of their crops. When we were growing up, our family blank us the importance of good behaviors and honesty. Glenn blank playing the flute every day when she had to study hard for the exams. Alexandra blank an important position in ancient Egypt, both as a port and center of trade. The climb up the massive mountain cliff, usually blank the three days, but we did it in two. Right? So think about which answer should you choose. Should you choose the present tense? Or should you choose the past tense verb? Last year, people blank it very hard to get jobs because businesses were closing down due to the pandemic situation. So should you write was finding or found? Lily broke or has broken the Olympic record when she ran the women's 100 meters race in two minutes. So if you need more time, go back and pause, pause, pause the video as you want and complete the answers. The last two, Neville nearly fell or was falling? Which one is it? Over a rock just now when she was running to the house. My friends tease were teasing me often about my sister's accent. So please take a few minutes and make sure you have completed all the 10 before we discuss the answers. All right, so let us move on. Have a look at the answers. Preferred, hoped, taught, disliked, occupied, takes, found, broke, fell, and tease. Let us have a look at the answers one by one as we did in all the previous activities. So the first one, is look back in the days when you say back in the days does it refer to a context now no in the past yes so therefore we know it should be preferred so coming back to our answers you know it is preferred right let's have a look at the Second one. For weeks, the farmers, for weeks, it was happening repeatedly in the past. So therefore, can you say have hope? No. What can you say? Hope. Anyway, have hope is wrong because of the form, but we haven't, you know, revised it yet. But having a look at this, it was happening repeatedly in the past over and over. So therefore, it should be hoped. So actually I should be circling it. Okay. Right. So let's have a look at the two answers. Preferred and hoped. Let's have a look at number three and four together. When we were growing up, so straight away, when we were growing up, it was in the past. Okay. Our family, what? Taught us the importance, right? 
you don't say uh, our family was teaching you can say it. it's not wrong teaching you can say right but when we were growing up it was happening repeatedly in the past right Glenn Blank playing the flute every day when she had to study for her exam so every day when she had to study right so it was happening repeatedly in the past because had to study past every day repeatedly therefore Glenn disliked because I haven't taught you past continuous some of you can think ah, okay I have to choose taught but if you know the grammar and you revised it and you're just looking at this as a quick revision then you might be like okay why isn't was teaching not coming what is wrong here that is also in the past continuous but the actually the heading tells you to choose this to circle the correct words so you have to be able to understand the difference clearly now what happens here is that if two actions are happening in the past right the longer action is in the past continuous the short action is in the simple past tense or we say the interrupting action it takes the simple past tense form. Now let me quickly do an example for you here. Okay. I was eating when you called, right? So this is me. Okay. And I was eating, okay? So I was doing it for some time. I'm still eating, okay? So say this was 9 a.m. And this is 9.15 a.m. And here, what am I doing? I'm still eating, right? So... I was eating at the same time what happened you interrupted and you gave me a telephone call okay so the interrupting action or the shorter action takes the simple past tense Whereas the long action takes the past continuous. Now, when I actually do the past continuous, I'll be touching on this, okay? But because it's a simple past tense revision, I didn't bring it in for the rules. But when I do it at the past continuous tense, definitely you'll see this rule. But for those who might get confused, I thought I'll just, you know, give you a quick understanding as to why. Taught is the answer and it's not was teaching, okay? Right. Glenn playing the flute every day when she had to study. So because she had to do it was in the past, every day repeatedly it should be in the simple past tense disliked. So let's have a look at the answers three and four taught and disliked. Let's have a look at the next two. Alexandra, an important position in ancient Egypt, both as a port and center of trade. Okay, so in ancient Egypt was in the past, so it has to be occupied. The climb up the massive mountain cliff usually. So usually means at present. Okay. So it takes three days. But we actually did it in two. Okay. So let's have a look at the answers. Occupied and takes. Right. Let's have a look at the next two. Last year. So when you say last year, okay, definitely 
specific time in the past, so it should be found. Okay, so again, if you're not sure as to why was finding found, it's the same rule. Okay, last year people found it hard to get jobs because the businesses were closing. So what was the longer action? Businesses closing. What was the shorter or the interrupting action? Was people found it hard to get a job. Okay, so that is the rule in case you were thinking that both are in the past form. Lily blanked the Olympics record when she ran. Okay, when she ran is in the past. If it was in the past, the verb has to be in the past and broke. Okay, so let us have a look at the answers found and broke. The last two, 9 and 10. Neville nearly over a rock just now when she was running. So again, what was happening? This was happening past, was running, okay, so fell. Now again, two actions in the past, longer and shorter, okay. My friends blank me often about my sister's accent. Often means it's something like a routine most of the time, every time, okay? So it needs to be T's. Right. So here are the answers again. Double check to make sure you've got the same answers and I hope now you understand why these are the answers. All right, rewrite the passage in the simple past tense. Please bear in mind, I've put down the references to quote as from where I've extracted the passage. Photography takes up much of Nick's time and energy. He derives a great deal of pleasure and satisfaction from capturing on camera the antiques of animals in the wild. His pictures win him awards for his authentic presentation and originality. Nick has inherited the talent from his father, Martin Ross, a brilliant photojournalist. He hopes one day to produce documentaries, both for the movie screens and for television. Now, what you're supposed to do is completely rewrite the paragraph in the past tense, but not just past tense, simple past tense, okay? So to do that, first you need to underline the verbs that you need to change, right? Because for an example, photography is not going to change into past tense because it's not a verb, right? Um, and also it's not photography. Um, it's photography, so that's the proper pronunciation, right? Photography takes up much of Nick's time and energy. He derives a great deal of pleasure and satisfaction from capturing on camera the antiques of animals in the wild. His pictures win him awards for his authentic presentation and originality. Nick inherited, obviously, in the past because it's already happened. Um, the talent from his father, Martin Ross, a brilliant photojournalist. He hopes one day to produce documentaries both for the movie screens and for television. Okay, so now I've underlined some of the verbs. Think about it and try to rewrite this in the simple past tense. Okay. Take a few minutes, pause the video and then actually rewrite it and after you have finished, start playing the video from there onwards. All right, so shall we have a look at it together, right? So, 
photography. You have to go and check and come back. Took up. Take means took up. Sorry. Took up much of Nick's time and energy. Took up much of Nick's time and energy. Full stop. He derived a great deal of pleasure. Okay, so he derived a great deal of pleasure. And satisfaction from capturing on Right? So you can keep on writing it, okay? I have just done it with you to show you how to do it, right? So photography, take has changed into took. Derive has changed into derived, right? So likewise, the ones that I have underlined, you can write it, okay? So I think you would have finished it by now. Let us have a look at the answer. Photography took up much of Nick's time and energy. So here you have took. He derived a great deal of pleasure and satisfaction from capturing on camera the antiques of animals in the wild. His pictures won him awards for his authentic presentation and originality. Nick has inherited the talent from his father, Martin Ross, a brilliant photojournalist, he hoped one day to produce documentaries both for the movie screens and for the television. Okay, so here we have changed the verbs accordingly and rewritten it in the simple past tense. So if you've got everything correct, well done. If you haven't, please have a look at the answers and do the changes accordingly. All right, so moving on to our last activity. Some of the sentences below are incorrect. Rewrite them correctly, okay? So not everything is incorrect. Some of the sentences are incorrect, okay? Long ago when my mother was in the foreign service, we are always moving from place to place and rarely had an opportunity to make good friends. So think about the context and the tenses. When Pamela was about eight, her ambition is to be a pilot in the future. Mandy's fears decreased when she realized that the men in the lorry were not following her. Last Thursday, police found a catch of guns and some bullets from a river bank outside the city. Yesterday evening, a bicycle crashed into a brick wall. The accident causes the motorist and his companion to be thrown away. Okay. So, 
Please take a few minutes and jot down the answers. Once you have finished only, start watching the video again so we can discuss the answers together, right? All right, here are the answers. So one, two, three and five had something wrong in it. Only four was correct. Okay, so let's go and see which one was correct and why was it correct. So last Thursday found perfectly fine, simple past and specific time in the past. So this is correct. Okay, then let's have a look at the first one. Okay. Long ago when my mother was in the foreign service, okay, we were always moving from place to place. Now let us have a look at what the original sentence tells us. Long ago when my mother was in the foreign service, we are always, we can't say that, we have to say we were, right? So when you rewrite it, long ago when my mother was in the foreign service comma we were always moving from place to place. Okay. Second one. When Pamela was about eight, her ambition is to be a pilot. So when she was about eight, that was in the past. So that is wrong. How can we correct it? When Pamela was about eight, come on, her ambition was. To be a pilot in the future. Okay, so let us have a look at the answers. Her ambition was, so we've got it correct. We were, and that is also correct. Okay, now let us have a look at the third one, right? Mandy's fears, can we say decrease? Because one says realized, so that is in the past. So if it is in the past, the verb also has to be in the past. Mandy's fears decreased. Decreased means reduced. Decreased when she realized. That the men in the lorry were not following her. Clear? So here we have changed this word. So let's have a look at the answers. Mandy's fears decreased, you can see. Right? So we've got the same answer. So number four is correct. Let's have a look at the last one. Yesterday evening, okay, past, 
crashed, correct? This is reporting an incident. Remember when we report an incident, which tense are we using? The simple past tense. The accident causes wrong. The accident caused. So let us rewrite it. Yesterday evening A bicycle crashed into a brick wall. The accident caused The motorist and his companion to be thrown away. So we have changed cause into caused. So same thing caused. Right? So I think this has given you a good insight and a good recap to the simple past tense. So today's lesson, we had a focus all about the simple past tense. And we did a lot of practice and we did a quick recap of the use of it, the form of it, and we did some examples together and some activities. So that brings us to the end of the lesson, the simple past tense. Mm -hmm.